Yeah, good day folks, Greg Ozzy in Thailand. I'm gonna try and do something that I haven't done before. I'm gonna try and make a video with two cameras and talk you through it while I'm riding all at once. So hopefully I don't have an accident. So today's vlog is gonna be about riding a motorbike in Thailand. Should you ride a motorbike in Thailand? Obviously it's totally up to you, but there are some things you should know. If you haven't got a, um, now this is referring to Aussies because I don't know what the rules are for Americans and stuff, right? But if you haven't got an Australian motorcycle license, you won't be covered with your, um, with your insurance. So you can hire a bike over here, anybody can hire a bike but you will not be covered by insurance if you haven't got a license. And you will not be covered if you haven't got an international license confirming that you've got a motorbike license. So, yeah, you need to keep that in mind. Now, when you enter Thailand now, there are no real restrictions. You don't have to get Thai passes and all that. So you can just jump on a plane and come over. The only thing is, you have to do a PCR test 72 hours before you land here, or within 72 hours of landing here. And it has to show negative. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now with regard to hiring motorbikes, there's tons, tons of motorbike places that you can hire bikes, and they vary in price from, usually from about 150 baht up for something really small, and then it goes up to most bikes for about 200, 250 baht, 300 baht for good stuff. And then you get the real big bikes, like what they call big bikes over here, are the 350 to 600 scooters, which are a bit larger than your normal scooters. So I think they call them super scooters over here. So yeah, so you gotta look out for that. But there's some places that are good and some places just, their bikes are absolute garbage. You gotta remember that the place has been shut down for two years and yeah, so a lot of bikes have been sitting around, a lot of bikes weren't renewed because the businesses were not doing good. Now, now that's, I don't know what time, it's probably about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm riding through Patong and it's as dead as a dodo. It's absolutely dead. Uh, there's hardly any tourists here. Um, there's just not much going on at all. So, when you ride around here, it's not as bad as it used to be by any means, but in the afternoons, it gets busy in some spots. It, there is a lot of traffic, well not compared to what it used to be, but it can be pretty dangerous. And um, yeah, pe people in Thailand, I'm, I'm not sure if they have driver's licenses or how many of them have driver's license, but um, they just do their own thing, they, they ride on the wrong side of the road, they'll pull out in front of you, they just don't care, they drive in the middle of the road, two lanes, they'll take up both. Um, roundabouts, uh, uh, yeah, you just basically got to come to a basic standstill when you come to a roundabout, or you're going to get taken out, so I'm going to go up the road here and go up to the roundabout and then come back down to the beach, and I'll show you what I mean, because they're just crazy. So what I would suggest, if you do decide to hire a scooter, right, is that when you ride, you just keep your speed down. Unless you've got the road to yourself and you know the road, keep your speed down and don't swerve or do anything sort of um, erratic because you know at some point you will have someone shoot up the left-hand side of you and um, yeah, you'll have an accident for sure. So if you just try and stay nice and nice and sort of um, smooth and not erratic, don't zigzag or whatever, just go, take your time and don't do anything erratic, they'll, they'll shoot up the side of you and they'll cut you off and all that, but at least you'll be able to sort of stay safe. Okay, 
So you can see this car just come right around the outside of me. Yeah, no big deal. So I'm going to go up to this roundabout, and this roundabout's a shocker for cars going straight through it and what have you. And um, yeah, it's a really dangerous spot as they just, a lot of them, they just don't know how to use roundabouts. I don't know if you've seen that, um, here we go. Guy just, they just put their nose out and stop right in front of you in the middle of the road. Yeah, I'm well, talking on his mobile phone. Touch you off. Yeah. Pretty standard around here. It's not a crime to talk on your mobile phone. Up ahead you can see some guys come flying through the roundabout. Some don't. So, yeah, just even on your left hand side, you got to watch. Because they will cut you off. And they don't care. So, anyway, we're going to have to ride up near the beach and have a look up there. Now, I've made this video three times and I've already got a finished version of it, but I'm not happy with it. And what you guys don't know is, okay, I'm relatively new to this. I, I started my channel when I decided to come and move to Thailand and I made a few videos, so I didn't have the foggiest idea what I was doing. And then I made a couple when I got to Thailand. But I got pretty sick when I got to Thailand. I got COVID and that a couple of times. And yeah, and I, and I got um, bacterial infection in my stomach. So, yeah, so I never made much. And um, then I, when I got over that, I went and partied. And so, uh, partied a bit too much more than I sort of allowed for. So still didn't make videos and it's only the last sort of two and a half months where I've sort of taken it seriously to, to make videos. So this is a two-way street and there's a lady here in front of me what riding down the wrong side of the road and another one next to me. I don't care, someone's going to come up here like a taxi now. And, yeah, and this is standard. Nowhere to go, cut you off. That's okay. Sending out a nice day here. We had some real big rain yesterday, like, well not real big, but, you know, an hour's worth here and a few, a couple of hours worth at night. Yeah. 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 And this is another thing you'll have to worry about. There's a lot of Indians in Katong at the moment, and for some reason they just walk in the middle of the road, walk across the road, cut you off. Yeah, I don't know if they're walking on the road in India or whatever, but yeah, it's a bit of a problem at the moment. So... Yeah. So anyway, getting back to riding um, in Thailand. Now, we're on Beach Road, and you can see there's a stack of tuk-tuks and that. Um, and they'll take you out for the day. And they usually charge you about 800, 1,000 baht, which is about $30, $40, something like that in Australian. About $30 American. And they'll take you to the Tiger Park and Big Buddha in five or six hours, which is an absolute bargain. But what I would suggest, I'm not the craziest person about tuk-tuks. What I would suggest is you catch one of these vans and um, the vans are air-conditioned they'll take seven or eight people and you know for a thousand baht they'll wait around for you all day and you pay them at the end of the day there's a bit, this guy here um, in front of that bar he's really good he'll do it for 800 or a thousand baht for the day and he'll take you out all day and you don't pay them till you're finished all right that way they won't take off on you when they drop you off all right but just remember it's hot over here talk talks are uncomfortable bouncy rough slow and they're not air conditioned in the back might be a bit of fun for a novelty thing but grab a van if you can because they're all luxurious leather trim you know with all air conditioned and stuff so that's that okay so um what else i want to talk to you about okay so i did the insurance thing i did the how to drive in thailand thing um what else what else okay we're going past bungalow road here on our right and I've got a 360 camera on the front of my bike. So I've, I'm running two totally different systems of, um, of cameras here. This guy's sort of moving over. I'm just hoping he's not gonna run me in. Yeah. Okay, here's the trolley, the, the shuttle service that goes to Phuket. Okay. If you notice, although that I'm going, you know, from side to side and whatever, I'm doing it smooth and you know keeping it smooth because you'll get some young Thai guy that'll come up beside you like I'm doing 38 k's an hour and it's really quiet um, but that's as, as fast as I want to go along here 
but you'll get some guy come up beside you either side, 80 k's an hour, a car will just come out of nowhere and overtake you. Um, cars, for some reason, they just don't stick, stick to the speed limits. Most of the scooters do, even though you ride slower than the speed limit. Okay, coming up to the Phuket sign. We're at the northern end of the beach now. It's a nice day. And they just had um, they've just had a couple of big festivals on down here. And I didn't film either of them. I've got to stay in touch with my um, stay in touch with my um, what's going on around in Phuket because I've missed a few good um, video opportunities. But by the same token, I've been doing other stuff, and um, but now I'm going to start concentrating on that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is coming up now. I live up the northern end of the beach, which is up here, and. It's a good area, you, there's a lot of street food and stuff on the beach and you can just come, there's vendors that sell beer as well as street food, they sell Thai food, you know, your Thai girls can get their papaya salad and all that kind of stuff and it's a nice place to chill, it's not as busy as the other end of the beach with all the shops and that, there's massages just setting up there and it's just a really really cool place to um, when you do get out. Unfortunately. I spend way too much time in my room editing video and it's only because I'm trying to do a good job like eventually I, I won't spend as much time but it's a big learning curve, curve for me and um, you know I, I want to make good quality videos I see a lot of videos out there and some of them are really good and some of the young blokes are really good and and, and some of the other people are really good too and they've got really good content but some of them are just putting out absolute garbage and I really don't want to do that and I've made a lot of videos that I haven't published for that reason that I thought they were garbage and I've just deleted them which if I hadn't known what I know now I just would have kept them and used snippets and stuff I'd know how to manage my videos a lot better now and stuff like that so um, yeah this is the old end of the town where I live and there's some really cool places here and there's some good food places and um, yeah, motorbike shops and that but it looks really really old but there's a, there's just a lot here the only thing that I'm not really crazy about is we've got a, a Muslim mosque, mosque and I, I've got no problem with Muslims or the mosque but one thing I don't like is they make oh shit, see what I mean? that's what I mean about they just crazy around here nearly took me out Right. One thing I'm not crazy about is the mosque. At quarter to five every morning, you get someone screaming at the top of their lungs through the PA over the whole of this end of Patong with Muslim, I don't know, chants or whatever it is. And um, yeah, there it is just to our right now. And you can hear it from my um, condo and even dogs start howling to it, you know. So it's not the best thing. And also they do it a couple of times during the day and I'll be head editing videos or doing voiceovers or something like that and uh, next thing this sort of comes yeah, this is what I mean, this guy's just overtaking me you know, like, for no reason anyway, that's just the way it is in Thailand so you've got to ride a bit like a Thai too to survive around here because if you're not quick and got your wits about you yeah, you'll just get taken out for sure alright going to take you for a, um, a trip up through a part of town that's more for the ties than the tourists but there's lots of hotels and that up there so having said that um, it's just maybe an area that um, a lot of um, tourists probably don't see so anyway I'm going to go up there and um, there's some good restaurants up there and stuff like that there's some bad ones as well so just when you're here and you're um, looking for places to eat just remember the place when I got here in February the 11th the place was dead everything was closed and you can see all around me um, that there's there's hotels closed and things not open and stuff like that but when I got here there was um, stuff opening by the day it was really promising and it looked really really good and then it was started to seem to be getting fairly busy which was really good again but um, after that Right, then the wet season came, or what's officially the wet season, and it tended to drop off. And we got a lot of um, Indians and um, Arab tourists come, and yeah, it's not as busy as it was or it appeared to be. 
so so just factor that in mind so a lot of places closed and empty still but I think come um, when the rainy season's over it'll start springing back like it started to just in February and March and that so g'day hello how you going who are you talking to YouTube oh yeah hello YouTube hello how you going I'm Daryl oh. Daryl, nice to meet you, Daryl. I'm Greg, Aussie in Thailand on YouTube. English, Yeah. Yeah, good. Anyway, looking like not a bad day, Daryl. Not a bad day. Anyways. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we're at traffic lights talking to a guy from England. And, um, yeah, it seems like a nice enough bloke. But um, yeah, so I'm starting to get used to um, talking to myself and um, into the camera now, so it's not such a, a big deal anymore. I felt like a bit of a weirdo at first. Okay, so this is more a Thai area. And I've got to find myself, there's a gym around here apparently. And I've got to start going to the gym and being a bit more active because I've spent a lot of time working on videos and stuff and um, not getting out and about as much as I should so I've got to make an effort to get out early go for a walk and then go to the gym maybe convenient in my area but this is a really cool area this is where a lot of Thai people live and there's a lot of stuff open here although it's early in the morning so not everything's open but it's a really cool area and you can see there's lots of motorbike wire and there's lots of shops and stuff yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. Restaurants, little restaurants everywhere. And like I said, if you go into restaurants or you're eating around here, just remember a lot of restaurants opened up and then there doesn't seem to be enough tourists to keep them going. So make sure when you eat, you eat at busy places. I made the mistake of seeing this place that looked like it had heaps of people, but they were all something to do with it. None of them were eating. Me and um, Alicia went there and the food was absolute garbage. It was absolute, absolute rubbish. So you just gotta watch out. But if you go to the good places and the good street carts that are busy, you'll, you'll know that um, the food's really, really good. So. Yeah, so like I said, this is an area where a lot of Thai people live and um, it's a pretty cool little area to ride around and have a look, walk around. To, to our left is Super Cheap. In Australia we've got Super Cheap Auto. Well this one is called Super Cheap. And, um, oh yeah, that's it. See that? That's about typical. It'd be an Indian. And just jump down in front of me. I don't know why they do it, they just walk out in front of you. Surely they might, a lot, a lot of people must get hurt or injured. Okay, so, alright, we've got a guy on the side of the road here. Okay, and there's a lot of, um, in the hills here, there's a lot of um, good hotels and resorts, you know, they've got their own properties and that. And they've got magnificent grounds and, and they're high up on the hill so they look from right at, back here onto the beach and over the water, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, happy hour. And as you can see, that place on the right too, a lot of French people go there, they have like croissants and stuff like that. The food's pretty good there, but I've been there a couple of times. And that restaurant on our left is pretty good as well. Not that you can see it. I'm just gibbering. I'm sort of half not expecting this video to turn out, but we'll see how we go. I've got another one ready to go if this one doesn't work, but this is the sort of, um, this is the video that I wanted to make and just to try to see the two cameras up and yeah, run them side by side with two different systems, see if I can make it work. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, that was the unit for uh, Thai kickboxing. Okay, I've only come across a couple of crazies today, so it's not really serving my purpose for, for what I wanted to do, because normally it's a bit more risky than what it is today, riding around. Okay, you can see a lot of places still closed. A lot of places for rent up here. Rooms and little condos and stuff. But living here, I've been asked by a few people what's it like actually living here. And I, obviously living here is not the same as when you're on holidays because um, you know, with me, I make videos and do stuff, and I spend a bit of a fair bit of time in my room working on the computer. But when you do get the day out to do stuff, it's 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 great. It's a great place to hang out and uh, go places, and there's heaps to see. And I did a video um, yesterday of um, just places I haven't been, a couple of beaches and couple of really cool places to eat and stuff and um, yeah there's, there's always new places you can find every day so yeah, it's pretty cool all this down here starting to open up now like um, this is all closed and this is a new place opening up here yeah. you see this this is a, a derelict abandoned building project and they hire motor scooters out from underneath it I think it's just a shade not sure if they're allowed to Here's another one. Just open spaces everywhere. Okay, so we're going to head up and pick up our laundry. And like I said, this is a roundabout. And people just don't know. But you can see it's so quiet. Like, this is crazy. Now this street, this is the main street. It's only, we have three streets. Three main streets, one is um, the road that runs down the, the beach, the next one back only runs uh, north to south I think, and this one's a two way street, it's like the main road, and um, yeah, this one can be pretty wild sometimes and people do some crazy stuff, so especially up at this intersection at this corner here, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, so what I would, like I said, suggest, you know, if you do hire a motorbike, and, I, and you know, if you, you are experienced, I would suggest you hire a motorbike, right, because it can really enhance your experience, because you can just jump on, and within five or ten minutes, you're somewhere really, really cool. Like as we come up here, up on the hill, there's this really cool temple that you can go and see, and it's like... 10 minutes away and that overlooks the whole place it's pretty mad I'm trying not to get too distracted here while I'm talking and writing okay so yeah I don't know if you can see it, but it's right in front of me up in the hill there it's a big Thai temple and it's really cool up there it's really steep I don't know what this is we have a tractor and this little motorbike Pretty beat up. And I'm okay. There's still people riding around with masks, but I believe, as from yesterday, masks aren't compulsory anymore. So I'm either gonna be right or learn the hard way. It's information I was given: masks are no longer compulsory other than in confined spaces so and there's a copper up here so I don't know he's got a mask on so I don't know if if that's the truth but I haven't got a mask on and there seems to be a lot of people without masks on so anyway we will find out
Okay, so I'm going to turn down here. I don't want to fall off. It's the one way street and I'm going the wrong way. Soy sensible, eh? Have a look. This is a cool street. This runs onto, up to Bungalow Road. And there's cars facing both ways, but I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way down the street. There's a bit of work going on here. It's only early in the day, so a lot of the stuff that appears like it's closed is probably just not open yet. So the Zara is facing us both sides, but I think <coughs> I'm riding the wrong way down a one-way street, so I'm just doing the tie thing, I think. There's massage places and bars and restaurants here. It's a pretty popular street. Nearly impossible to get a parking spot here at night time. Policeman in front of me. Now I've got no mask on. It's the first time I've ridden in Thailand with no mask. So let's see what happens. Am I going to get booked, or am I not? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think so. As I, I think. If it had been a couple of days ago, I think they would have nabbed me. They're grabbing people everywhere for not wearing masks. More so than not wearing helmets. Okay, so. Okay, go, Tuk Tuk. Okay, so this is one street back from the beach. There's a lot of hotels, massage places, restaurants. Um, there's some pretty good restaurants here. As you can see, I'm moving over, but I'm doing really slowly. So if um, someone decides to zoom up beside me, they see me sort of moving over. There's a good coffee spot there. Okay, folks, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell. I'll be bringing plenty more out. And please leave a comment. Cheers.